And we are here. We have landed in the beautiful city of Chicago. Not sure how beautiful it is because I've never been here before, but I hear the most amazing things about their food here. We all know the pizza, but we're gonna get some baked goods this week. We're gonna, go, we're gonna hit up a couple of bakeries, donuts, cupcakes, the whole nine. There's some sort of uh, Portuguese bakery on here that's supposedly huge. We're gonna hit that up. Gonna get some Chicago style hot dogs. Not sure what that means because I like to be surprised, but at that same place, they not only do milkshakes with cake on top of it, but they also do milkshakes with cake in it, blended up. Super excited to try that. But just land it. You know what we got to do. First things first, we have 36 hours to hit up Chicago, hit up this eating, see what we see what kind of trouble we can get into. And we are going to get right in to this deep dish action. Let's go. Here we are. What is this, what is this place? Salernos? Salernos. Salernos, Chicago. First attempt at pizza. We got a thin crust, which my buddy Danny over here is telling me this is true Chicago style here. I know we know those thick, thick, thick crusts that we see and they make great commercials, they make great pictures, uh, but this is what I'm told is true Chicago and I'm gonna go with a guy who grows up here and lives here his whole life. So we're gonna enjoy this and just have a good time. <laughs> We got uh, sausage and pepperoni. Sausage and pepper. This is fantastic. You like it? Fantastic. Oh, dude, I'm so happy. Oh my god. The, the sauce is awesome. Do you like the garlic? Well done. Yeah, garlic. He got extra garlic on it. I was a little iffy on that, <laughs> but luckily we ain't making out or anything, so we're good to go. <laughs> Well done was a good choice too. I didn't realize how thin this was, but it gives it that nice crisp, that nice, but their, their sauce, their cheese is fantastic. I gotta say this actually beats the pizza from last week that was a pound and a half each and that was super thick. And I'm not like a thin crust type of guy, but this is, this is spectacular. Really, uh, it's got such a good taste. Yeah, so happy. So that proves even when you're out with a guy, you're still the. What do you want? What do you want? No, you tell. You say. No, you say. That's proof right there. So we're gonna enjoy another one of these things because this was absolutely delicious, but uh, we're not gonna take you on that journey. Tomorrow morning, we got some, some exciting stuff coming up. Uh, a lot, a lot of donuts. <sighs> Uh, and probably a lot more stuff. We're gonna do Chicago style hot dogs. We're gonna do uh, cakes in a shake because that's just what we do. Uh, so I'll see you in the morning. Don't need that anymore. So we have stopped here at Stan's Donuts, a staple of the culinary world in Chicago, or so I'm told. So we got ourselves six donuts. Looking to enjoy the hell out of this thing. A couple of different varieties that I've never tried before. 
couple of little concoctions that I thought were pretty cool. A little chilly out here. <laughs> so, please bear with me. I'm gonna get our coffee in, and we're gonna get started. So right here we have, we're gonna go super chocolatey right off the bat. Uh, last week the chocolate really kicked the shit out of me. But this is a Nutella banana filled donut. Now this is a, what they call this, a square or something like that, or a pocket. That's supposedly a different type of pastry, different type of donut known in Chicago. So. thing is filled with banana, real banana, not just uh, some fake, trying to act like banana, and Nutella. The dough itself is very fluffy, but yet still crunchy. These combinations don't make sense, but they work and they taste good. And that's all that matters. Absolutely delicious. Just realized I forgot napkins, but we're gonna make this work. Next up, a pistachio old fashioned. Look at this thing. Now, an old fashioned donut is not something that I would normally pick, but again, these days are for doing things we don't normally do. And then the pistachio, she told me this is one of their top sellers. This thing sells out by noon to one o'clock every single day. That right there is a man's man's donut right there. This thing, you have to have a cup of coffee with. Like this is nostalgia in a ring shape. Incredible. Got a really, really great flavor. The pistachio is like sweet. And it's just awesome. That was fantastic. You wouldn't think pistachio and a donut, but, and it's not like I'm, I like, I like pistachios, don't get me wrong, but like, that's not gonna be my first choice in ice cream. That's not gonna be my first choice in donuts. That was so worth it. Incredible, fantastic. Blueberry or apple? Blueberry or apple? You know what? I'm gonna go apple because it's on the back row here. So this is an apple pie pocket. Again, don't know the difference between these pockets or whatnot, um, but it seems to be a popular thing in Chicago as I was looking up donut places and different things they keep going on about their pockets being the best. So I believe it's a, a Chicago thing. I'm hoping that you could really get in here the actual, you see like those pockets of air, like the the fluffiness of this thing, yet it's still crunchy. And it does, it's got the cinnamon sugar on top, the apples in there. Amazing combination. Of course it's an amazing combination, it's apple pie, right? <laughs> of course it's an amazing, co oh, good job, John, way to go. Way to be uh, groundbreaking, on the edge. Now I'm realizing as I'm getting the end here, it's not just apples in it, it's like, it's like an apple sauce, but like a homemade apple sauce. Like you could tell there was real apples made in it. Like, like they made an apple pie, took the filling out, and then just mushed it up to stuff it in a, in a pocket square. Wow. Now this is their, their monster donut. Look how cute, look how cute that guy is little one-eyed monster. So this is filled, just a filled donut um, with like an actual like chocolate pudding filling. It's actual like, like a Boston cream, but chocolate. And they threw in some, that's, that's a really good, I never thought about that kind of combination, but it makes sense, right? Any sort of, like pudding type consistency you could throw into a donut, right? So that opens up, uh, that opens up a world of options.
I love their little bags too. Look at these little things. The pink, like the old timey feel, all that stuff. All that, all of that stuff goes into making like an absolute great, like your environment makes an absolutely great experience, right? I don't think a lot of uh, businesses nowadays put enough thought into it. Maybe that's maybe that's wrong with me. Maybe they, I mean, they, it is marketing and things like that, but just a great experience altogether. So here we are going to go. You know, I'm going to save that one for last. So here we have a red velvet old fashioned. And I think there's these two little dots here. So I think it's stuffed, but I'm not sure. This, I, I told the lady, just give me three of your most popular ones, um, which was the pistachio one, this one, and uh, I don't know what the other one was actually. Maybe there's only two. I don't know. And last but certainly not least, we have ourselves a blueberry pocket square. Again, these squares, they're popular here. Can't do nothing about it. But it seemed very interesting. The last time we had that blueberry donut, or blueberry filled donut, I should say, uh, I was very, very surprised by how good it was, how much I like those flavors. So I'm looking forward to this. This has got big things. Oh, they surprised us. You know I like surprises. They filled this thing with a green cheese filling. So you got the blueberries on top, and then you have some nice cream cheese action going on there that when you're not expecting it, that's a hell of a good surprise. That was an awesome surprise. You know we like those surprises. That was worth waiting to the last. Yo, that cream cheese hit me. That thing punched me in the face like a professional boxer. Wow. That was stupendous. That sweetness from the blueberries, incredible. These pocket things, they know what they're doing. They're nice and, they're, all of those donuts were crunchy yet fluffy at the same time. Yep, Sands is definitely some place to go to when you're here. Give them a shot. We got ourselves a couple of different things. So we got their roast beef sandwich, something that they're, they're known for as well. Um, we got their hot dog, Chicago style, which looks like it's got a, it's got relish, pickles, jalapenos, tomatoes, a ton of stuff on there. One of the things that they're famous for, their chocolate cake, got a slice of that. And then we got a milkshake, but this isn't just any regular milkshake. This is a milkshake with a piece of that cake in it. So it's called a cake shake. It's another thing that sort of, uh, you could call it kind of gimmicky, but I like the idea behind it. You know we like the idea behind it, so. We're gonna start with this hot dog, because never done a Chicago-style dog. Just the hot dog in general is really, really good, but everything on it really spiked it up. Very good. A lot of different things I would have never put on a hot dog, but now that I'm now that I've met it, I wouldn't marry it, but I could enjoy it. Now this is a roast beef sandwich, tortillo style, which just said extra gravy. I think the gravy itself is what's going to make the sandwich. No, nope. completely wrong. The gravy just made the bread soggy, but roast beef itself is excellent. Fantastic. We haven't met a donut, a piece of pizza, ice cream, cupcakes, anything in this town that we haven't liked so far. That roast beef is sort of, it's like locking your doors at night. 
You know you should. But when you don't and something bad happens, somebody breaks in, you blame yourself. I know it's roast beef. It should taste good, but gravy, everything, just tastes better with everything on there. It's incredible. And as you saw my attempt to take down the shake, and I'm just getting air, that's because all I did was get a piece of cake. Really delicious cake. That just makes me more excited to get involved with this. That's really what we came here for. We were, we wanted the hot dog, wanted the roast beef, everything like that, but cake is where it's at. Unlike a lot of the other places that we went to, this is, this is pure sugar and it's delicious. It's a nice change of pace. The cake itself is, it's got some texture to it. It's got like some firmness. I think it would be a matter of opinion. Sort of, sort of like the mattress you like at home. You know, some people like them firm. Some people like them wherever. And then some crazies like water beds. You know, what are you gonna do? Absolutely outstanding. That cake was exactly what we were looking for. Nice bit of a sugar rush, middle of the day. I'm looking at about three o'clock right now, so. We got cupcakes waiting for us back in the room. But I really thought the portion size would be a bit bigger. So we're gonna try to find something on our way back. Something a little bit to snack on. Got some plans tonight, but that's about it. If nothing else, Portillo's in Chicago for these, these cake shakes. This is amazing. Still have another 24 hours here, and they have not disappointed. Very, very happy with the structure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Woo! We ate so much this weekend. I had to break this thing into two videos. Look at that. So what we just saw there, right up to Portillo's, that was literally, I flew in, landed, and was eating that pizza 9 p.m. And then as you saw the next day at 3 p.m., that was Portillo's. On the way home, we got, or the way home, on the way back to the hotel from Portillo's, we got ourselves some cupcakes. Look at, oh, Jesus Christ. These are scary little guys. I had to, had to, had to pick these things up. Look at that. Look at that. Scary and cute, all at the same time. But I had to get these. This bakery, Magnolia's Bakery, supposedly one of the best in Chicago, which I realized, it sounded familiar. And I realized, oh, that's, there's one in New York too. Never had it before, but I just remember it from New York. So there's something about the flavor of these things. There's something that they put in there. I'm not gonna give away any secrets because I finally, finally, finally got it after some thought. And you'll see what I'm talking about in the next video, in part two of our Chicago, eating up Chicago. But I finally got it. And I'll let you in on that secret in part two. Also, later on that night, before our final uh, weigh in on pizza, and we, had, we got some deep dish later on that night, which again, be in the next video because it's just too much. It's just too much goodness in one video. But we did get this guy right here. This was one of those freak shakes. One of those, the shake is, is maybe 16, maybe 20 ounces. Awesome shake, mint chocolate chip shake, wonderful. One of the best cookies I have ever eaten in my life was on top of this thing. And plus the whipped cream, plus all the other goodies that were on there. It was, it was delicious. It was really good, set me up perfectly to take down the, well, you'll see in the next one. Stay tuned, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and definitely catch this next one where we go into how we took down almost 30,000 calories 
in 36 hours. I'll see you in the next one.